All right, so I'm getting ready for a um, little bit of a hiking trip next week with my son, and I was getting some meals ready to take with us on the hiking trip, and one of the meals that we like to do that's it's real cheap, easy to fix, it's good, tastes good, uh, is uh, one that I saw another guy do on a video a while back on one of his trips, and so I gave it a try, I really liked it, and decided to start using it, and so I thought I'd show you uh, what that meal consists of, and then I'm gonna cook it here in just a minute, because I had an extra one packed, uh, or made, that I'm not gonna take with me, and so I cooked that for dinner tonight, and I uh, thought I'd show you what it consists of, and let you see how I uh, fix it out on the trail, and maybe you'll find it helpful. So, uh, what it consists of is uh, the brown minute rice, so just the regular minute rice, um, that you get at the store for the brown. I like the brown minute rice. Uh, so that's one ingredient. Uh, another ingredient is to take uh, ground beef, just brown it uh, in the frying pan, and I mix in some taco seasoning. And so I brown the meat with the taco seasoning, and then drain that, or actually brown it, drain it, and then mix in the taco seasoning. Try to get as much of the grease out as I can get out of the meat. Then I'll take that meat and put it on my dehydrator and uh, dehydrate it overnight until it dries out real good and makes the crumbly, crumbly meat. Uh, and then I'll take a can of uh, black beans, uh, Bush's black beans, get them at the grocery store. Uh, I'll drain those and rinse them really good in the colander, drain them really good, and then I'll put those on the dehydrator, dehydrate them overnight. Uh, you can look up on how long to dehydrate vegetables and meat and stuff like that. It's uh, kind of recommended on the, gives you recommendations and instructions with the dehydrator for that. But so basically, I dry out the black beans, I dry out the, the uh, ground beef that's seasoned with taco seasoning, and then I mix in uh, the minute rice. So I do about a cup, I guess, roughly, and these measurements can vary, but this is about what I do. I do about a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup of the meat after it's been dehydrated, uh, uh, about a half a cup, give or take, of the beans. And, uh, and a half a cup of the rice is, is rough measurements, and that's what makes up this part of the meal here. And then this is just your regular corn chips, uh, Fritos, not the scoops, but the smaller ones, uh, regular corn chips. So that's that's what the meal consists of: corn chips, dried uh, ground beef, dried black beans, or dehydrated black beans and dehydrated ground beef with taco seasoning, and then the brown rice. So that's how I mix it up, carry it like this on the trail. And so now I'll go through the process of showing you how I cook it when I get to camp uh, or along the trail somewhere. So let's take a look at that. All right, so this is my my meal here that I was showing you. The ground beef and the beans, rice, and, and corn chips. And so we'll go through the process of cooking it here. So this is my, my cook setup. This is my my um, cook my mug that I use, so we don't need that, so I'm going to set that out of the way. The meal here, don't need that. This is my stove. So what we normally do is um, is I'll get the uh, cook pot and everything ready. This is my Snow Peak 700 mug and lid. This is a Four Dogs titanium lid from Four Dogs Four Dogs stove. This is my titanium windscreen that uh, I normally use. I made this. It's just a DIY windscreen. So that goes along with it. And I usually will put this little piece of aluminum down just to kind of protect the ground. And uh, so normally I'll put about an ounce of fuel, roughly, and I'll carry this little small uh, one ounce bottle. Just kind of makes it a little bit easier to measure with. So I'll usually fill it roughly with an ounce of fuel. So, 
and then that just kind of makes it a little bit easier. Sometimes I carry a larger fuel bottle if I'm going longer time, and so I use this just to measure it. So, so we're going to put an ounce of fuel. This stove is my, it's a fancy feast stove made by Zelf. Um, Zelf is the uh, Zelf, Zelf stoves. You can pick them up online. Uh, wood, I think it's woodgasstoves.com. You can Google that and look it up. So what I'll do is I'll take the uh, the mixture here and pour it in my cook pot like that. And you can see it's all down in there. So I'll put that in there and then I'll put enough water to roughly get it just above just above the food line. So yeah. It's kind of hard to judge, but where it, where it's just a little bit above the uh, the food line, so you can add more if it if it doesn't hydrate well. But I, I don't want to get too much in there because it'll get soupy. So you add the water, then we'll light our stove. Put the windscreen around it. Sit that on there, and then we let it boil. So we'll leave the corn chips off to the side, let that start start boiling, and uh, we'll come back in just a minute and take a look at it. All right, it's starting to starting to get some bubbles around the edges there, but we'll let that cook a little bit more, and then we'll come back and check it in just a second. Try to get a little bit of a boil going there. So I'm going to let that cook for just a few minutes, a couple minutes maybe, and, uh, and we'll stir it a little bit. Let that bubble a little, and then I'm going to take it off of the fire here in just a little bit and let it um, sit in the little koozie and uh, finish warming up. Alright, so we're, it's getting pretty good here, so we're going we're gonna to take it off of the fire. That stove still got a little burn to it there, but we'll let that go. And then I'll put the lid on that. Put that on the lid. Keep it warm. And then we will take this. Sit it down. Sit it down inside my little pot koozie there, and let that rehydrate. Probably could have got away with a little less fuel in my stove. It's got a little bit of burn. It's about to go out. It's got a little bit of burn left in it. So we'll let that sit for just a minute and rehydrate, and then I'll come back to you and show you what it looks like. All right. So it's been sitting for. Let's call it about 10 minutes. And this is what it looks like so far. If you can see that. I'd say it's pretty good, pretty good to rehydrate it there. You, might could, you could let it sit a few more minutes if you wanted to. Uh, but it, it's hydrated pretty well there. I think you can probably see that, maybe. But that's what it kind of looks like. So then I'll take the corn chips and kind of dump them in there kind of mix them in. And if you have a little extra liquid in there, if you put a little bit too much water, sometimes this will help. The corn chips will help kind of soak up if you got a little bit too much water because sometimes that happens if you don't quite get your water amounts right, you'll get it. <clears throat> it'll be a little soupy. But a little soupy is not so bad either. Right, look at me, making a mess. But um so that's after you mix in the corn chips, that's kind of what it looks like there. I don't know if that looks very appetizing, but all right, so it this tastes is really uh, good. An easy meal to do, uh, cheap, inexpensive one to fix. You know, you get you a pick you up a dehydrator. I got one. I think I picked mine up at Academy Sports. You know, they're they're easy to use. You can do a lot of stuff with them. You do fruit, veggies, things like that. But it's a cheap way to make. Uh, backpacking meals if you're, if you're into backpacking and hiking and stuff 
you know, this is a cheap way to make meals. Uh, it's uh, just as good as some of the other stuff, the big name Mountain House, backpack with pantry, stuff like that. Uh, I still pick those up from time to time. There's a couple of them I like. And uh, Hawk Vittles, uh, Packet Gourmet, those are also some good ones that are that I like to get. But this is just, I can't even get that for every meal. This is a cheap way to do it. Easy to do, tasty, filling. Give it a try. So uh, let's give this a, a quick taste. Oh yeah, that's good, real good. So give it a shot, I hope you found this informative. Um, hope you learned something and enjoyed the video. And if you like it, uh, click the like button at the bottom uh, or subscribe and hopefully I'll have some other videos out uh, on down the road of some of my trips and maybe some other backpacking stuff. So uh, thanks a lot, hope you enjoyed it, see ya.